BKB presents five two-minute rounds in this vacant British welterweight title clash. Introducing first in the red corner, representing Lincoln with an undefeated BKB record of one fight and one win. Nathan the Nightmare De Castro. Across the ring, his opponent stands in the blue corner, representing Basildon with a BKB record of four wins and two losses. Paul Soul Snatcher Hills. Oh, it's such a best luck to both of your five two minute rounds. Don't forget there's 20, 20. Oh, <laughs> Don't forget there's 20, <laughs> 20 seconds standing again. Good luck to both of you. Please obey my commands at all times. Good luck. That's Let's get down to business. A little bit of gamesmanship there. A little bit of gamesmanship. First round, British vacant welterweight title. Nathan looking for a big punch early doors. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nathan hit. Oh! He hit his head on the back of the ring there, but it, that was a. That's a push. The referee says just get on with it. And well done, referee Barrington Patterson. Yeah, I don't think it was anybody's no. fault as such. It was a bit of a clinch. It was momentum, yeah, Tom. Only accidental, nobody was in damage too much, so fly goes on. Little combination and there with him with the big right hand from uh, oh, I tell you what a scrap this is. Look at the punches from both of them. Look low, at that. Paul Hiltz is throwing low, low, uh, Tom. Paul Hiltz is throwing some real punches there. Some of them look a bit borderline there, Tom. Oh. Boy, there were some punches thrown in, weren't there? He's telling them though, yep. when I say break, yep. it's and break. And keep it clean. Good to see them at it though, Tom. Good to see them go at it. You've got to abide by the rules. Keep it clean. Oh, body shots body from shots again, Nathan Tom. Castro. He's telling him now, he's not having it. Oh, point deducted. Was that for not listening, Tom? Yeah, because yep. no, 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 some, his command. No, yeah. Something else went on there, and he, comp he complained. I, I don't know what's happened. We'll have a look when we get to a break at the, uh, at the end of the first round to see what happened there, because something has happened to upset the referee. <laughs> Barrington says, "Touch up, mate. You touch up. You touch up. Absolutely." <laughs> end of the first round. Have we got that to have a look back at? I think we should have a look at that just to see exactly what went on there because something's gone on there with the, in between the fights and the referee has seen something because he was complaining, Paul Hiltz. Paul Hiltz was complaining. There, he tells that... He's working the body, working no, the body. He's talking to the referee there. No, he Paul. was talking to the ref. Paul Hiltz was talking to the referee about something, and he's. But I think you're right. I think perhaps it's after the break. I don't know. But to be fair, though, Tom, he was hit, he was punching away. Now the referee, I don't see why he, why he's had to break it. To be honest, because he was working away. Probably because of holding. Oh, because yeah, but uh, he was holding maybe. Well, we'll see what the judges say here. Actually, working both hands to the body, so he was happy where he was. So I don't I don't know what the problem was there. Oh, two, two, two draw. It is for a low blow. I thought there was something. Oh, low up. blow. I thought something had gone on, to be fair. Now. Let's see what happens here. I thought something, because he was complaining to the referee while, he was, while the punches were being thrown, which is a dangerous game. Yeah. Leave it to the referee to... These are trading blows like you wouldn't believe. Holding there, Hilts, holding and hitting. I don't know. He's told him again. Castro now wants to finish it quick. 
but he's got to be careful. Oh, great body shots again from Di Castro. This is the first time for Hiltz to be past round one. The referees, they're holding the ropes and it's not allowed because you're holding the rope, you're caging your man in. That's a good shout from Clive Allison, the assistant referee, or the referee, joint referee, but he's assisting. Now, and he's punched again the body. The referee's not having this. Oh, that's what he's, he's, he's telling him this time. Break, I'm not yeah. telling you again. So he's spoiling his good work, De Castro. Really, he's, he's working he's well to the body. Yeah. Yes, he's, he's working well to the body, and because he's not listening or obeying the referee's commands, he's going to let this slip. We saw last time out, didn't we? Chas Simmons. Yep. He was winning a fight. Hit the man when he was down. down loses yep, it. Yeah. Oh, he's. Oh, his knees on the floor. You can't hit. The knee no, was that down. Wasn't, I wouldn't have said that was his fault then, to be no, honest. No, but when your knee's down, I don't think you can throw a punch, can you? I don't think that's his fault either. Yeah, I don't think that was his fault on that time. He fell on one knee. One point. One point again. Wow. And to be honest, Tom, the, the points that he's losing are taken away from the good work that he's doing. Because he's, he's the only he stands out, doesn't he, as a boxer? Yeah, and he's working well to the body. A couple of them strayed a bit low in the first Is round. Is he trying too hard? Possibly, and I just think he's just too much in the zone. He's not hearing what's going on. Robin, the, the clearer work's coming from him, look. Yeah. Robin Black, what do you see about this look. fight? Yeah, you know, this guy, if you follow him on media, you follow his social, Nathan DeCastro, he lives with a lot of passion. And he's fighting maybe with too much passion here. You know, if he were to talk about how he'd like this fight to look tonight, a week ago, or a week from now, it wouldn't be this. You know, maybe striking the body is part of his strategy, but being this emotionally wound up is not. So he needs to go back and reset and come out and fight a different fight. Well, two of the judges had that as a draw, because obviously the point taken off. Yeah. Nathan De Castro comes in. He might realise he's got to finish this, you know. Two warriors, though. You need to be careful now, though, um, <clears throat> Tom. Two points off. Nice body shot. Get how many De points Castro. you have taken off before you disqualify? You're disqualified, exactly. I think it's three, is it? Or I'm not too sure how it works in BKB. I've not seen it on BKB, yeah, to be I've not fair. Seen it in BKB. Oh, good body yeah, shot. That's it's a shame because he's working the body nice, to be fair. Brilliant. He's got it all, De Castro, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got it all. Bad than not listening to what the referee said. In his locker, he's got the lot. Yeah. Now he's telling. Oh, one, one point. point. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's fair. He's at least been straight down the middle of the referee. These guys are at it. They're at it straight from the, from the way coats on the straight in. I haven't really seen much head, many headshots. They're all going to the body so far, oh. which is unusual. Absolutely. The the Look body at the work again. in the body. Beautiful, Tom. I tell you, the body is a, a wonderful place yeah. to work because you kill the, you know, work the body, kill the head, they yeah. say. Yeah. He'll just try the big right hand there. But you know all these punches and these bodies, it's going to drain yeah, their energy. That'll take, the, that'll take it out of them. Especially over the five, two minute rounds, Tom. Ah. No. Just getting a bit scrappy at times. Bit Tom. ugly. Yeah. De Castro, if he boxes. If he boxes, yeah, he's the clean, he's tidier of the two, boxing wise. Wow, Robin Black, talk us through that. You know, I said De Castro wouldn't have wanted this kind of fight. Paul Hiltz wanted exactly this kind of fight. Really gritty, really rough, jagged, and ugly. perfect. Ugly. That's what he was looking for. Ugly, and he's making it beautifully ugly. De Castro <laughs> is falling into it. Nathan can still win this fight, especially with that with that point removed now for Hiltz. That that penalty point against Hiltz. 
but here's the uh, the lock. So he's holding clearly helps that time. The back of the head and punching. So good that Barrington took one from him. I'm not a mathematician, so I don't know who's winning this fight, but it is still both guys fight to win. Well, I think it's the, the, that last round went to De Castro. Obviously, he had a point deducted anyway, but the, the round, all three judges went to Castro's way anyway. I mean, whatever it lacks, it sort of grabs your attention, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a bit scrappy at times, but excitingly scrappy. Yeah, if, that's if it. You get that song. Or, as Robin so eloquently put it, beautifully ugly. Yes, yes, I like that one. I say ugly, <laughs> he says beautifully ugly, because he's a wordsmith. He's working the body again, De Castro. <coughs> There's blood on his nose, though, De Castro. Where that's come from, we'll have to check. These are two warriors. You talk yeah. about warriors, boy, these are two. Oh, just missing with that big left hook then, De Castro. Swinging a miss. Literally there, Tom. The way he works that body. Oh. Uppercut Hilt's there, great that, uppercut. Yeah, from Hilt. From Hilt. Bringing great it uppercut, uppercut now, back of the head though, a little bit untidy again. Oh, body shot a, again. Yeah. Uppercut again. Oh, and, and he gets through with the up, and then the right, short right from... See. Now he's on the break there, Castro. Hilt. This is a tough one to ref, to be fair. Two points deducted for De Castro, one for Hiltz. De Castro tried yeah, that body Castro shot. He loves that body beam. shot. That's something he's obviously worked on the inside. And then he comes here. He wants to be in tight, yeah, doesn't he? Yeah. And then and uppercut. He's to be honest, he's working it well. You know, it's just... He oh, great uppercut there, there great from Hiltz. Great uppercut from Hiltz. Wobbled it. De Castro, they just took a little step back. Had to regroup a little bit. Uh, there, back he goes as he's trying to bring Hiltz in. No, another good shot. What a shot. From Hiltz. These, these two are giving it all. End of the fourth. Nah, wow. That was a better round, Tom, from oh. both fighters. I tell you, you talk about... War. This is a this war. This is a war. I mean, Robin, uh, two points deducted for De Castro, one for Hiltz. De Castro looks to me yeah. like just have enough, I think. Yeah, man. It, he that one uppercut really nice did. Hand, yes. That straight right hand is a beaut. Just a gritty, scrappy, filthy. No, it is. But it's a good fight, filthy. though, isn't it, Robin? But a good fight. It's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. It's like, what did yeah. you say? Beautifully yeah. ugly. I like that one, Robin. It I, describes this off to a It team. is beautiful. It is without it a is doubt. It is beautifully though. ugly. Without a doubt, though, it's yeah. it's it's untidy, but it's good enthralling, isn't good, it? Good it's enthralling. Watch, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I said De Castro doesn't necessarily want to fight with this much passion. It's just, it's authentic to him. He's, he's living these moments, you know? De, De Castro got the last round as well with the judges. So this is going to be the final round now. Who's got enough to win it? Oh. Hawking oh, didn't even buy an eyelid. So oh, a clubbing shot from De Castro, who comes in to finish it. There's... He wants him on... Oh, good shot from De Castro. He wants him on the ropes, yep. doesn't he? He wants to work well, it He's having his ropes. best moment. Yes. Oh, good shot again from De Castro. Right hand came over the top. He's just crowding his work a little bit too much at times, Tom. You know, he wants to work inside, but just give himself that little breather, that little space to work the Whoops. body, work the shots. Oh, both want the uppercut. Yeah, both work in the body. There, but De Castro's body work has been amazing. Yeah, and the uppercut from Hilts on the inside. They're both shattered, aren't they? Yeah. You can see they're both yeah. very, very tired men. Another clubbing right from Hilt, but De Castro gets in there, works the body, holding as well, though. Look, clever. Yeah, away clever from, the way he's doing the, the referee on the, side. On the other side of the referee. 
Good if he can get away with it. Sees Olden again on the oh, other side shot. of the referee. Works the inside. Works oh. away with the hand that's to the referee, so it looks like he's busy. Wow, oh, what a fight. Nice shot from De Castro. Oh. Stepped in well with that right hand, straight right hand in as he came out of the... They're both out on their feet, look. There's nothing left in the tank for either of them. So what, it's who wants it more now, Tom? You've got, to, got to dig deep, deep now, haven't you? have got to dig deep. deep. This is when the hard training comes in. And you put the mileage on the road, in on the road work, the bag work, pushing yourself. When you're tired, you're gassed out like this. There it is. There we go. Tough one to call, Tom. Well, I suppose really we, we have fights and we have scraps. Yeah, this was a scrap. That was a scrap. This was a but scrap. But a good scrap. But a good scrap. Yeah. Tough one to call. I mean, if you had to put money on it, who would you go for, Tom? Di Castro, I think. Di Castro, I think, on the... I the cleaner shots, the better shots that were landing. There's some nice uppercuts coming in from but there. But these two, these two have put on a show for the fans, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, and that was a great fight. And then have a look at this, folks. They give the fans what they come for. They have give the fans entertainment. They've come and had a war. Yeah. De Castro's the best, I think, the better technical boxer, yeah. but he didn't show it, he didn't no. use it. He wanted to be inside, he did work the body well, though, when he got inside. Well, <coughs> let's have a look now as we wait to see what happens here. As De Castro's just outside, he's talking to his corner, but I think they'll want him inside. They'll want him to go for the official announcement. Just having a look there. Nathan Di Castro just waiting. The fighters have been called to the middle. You're going to go and talk to the winner. And here we go now as uh, they both go to the centre. The owner of BKB, one of them, Jim Freeman, says well done to them. Let's go to Nathan Di Castro. See if it goes to him. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of non-stop action, we consult the judges' scorecards. It was an extremely difficult fight to judge. It is a majority decision. The new British welterweight champion, Nathan De Castro! I say Robin Black, he won the fight and he had two points deducted. <sighs> yeah, it was a tough one. Slimy, sludgy, grimy, greasy and grotesque. And I loved it. <laughs> it yeah, exactly. A, just such a visceral fight. But these two have, have given it all. Whatever else we say wasn't right, they gave everything they had. There was nothing left in the tank for either of them. Yeah, it, it just, they were living it. You know, there was no other way for them to find their way through this crazy fight than the way they did it. And, uh, you know, we can we can look from the outside and say, oh, you should have jabbed, you should have moved your feet. Now they're in it, they're living it, and they're trying to work their way through the madness that was this fight. And it was a wonderful thing to watch. You know, uh, even, and Robin said that, both of you said this a lot, there were actually some brilliantly technical hang, hang on, Robin. elements, Robin, especially. Let's go. Yes. I think we're going to go to the interview Please. in a moment. Just waiting to see because I Love think it. they're trying to get Nathan De Castro. We'll be back with you shortly. Yes, they're getting Nathan De Castro to talk to Robin Reed just on the uh, corner of the ring here at the O2 Arena in the heart of London at BKB 22. As uh, Nathan sits down next to three times world champion Robin Reed. Nathan De Castro, new British welterweight champion. How does that sound? Talk us through it. Sounds beautiful, baby. Sounds absolutely brilliant. I just want to thank everyone who came out to support me today. Four hours journey really from Lincoln. Look at them, man. Unbelievable. What a crowd. What a bunch of fans. I feel top of the world. What a fight. Great Paul Hills warrior. Let my respect in there tonight. I'll get, I'll get better each fight there. I'm just a bit, bit, bit clumsy, but you know what I'm learning in Paul Hills warrior. Been in there a lot of fights and just I want to thank BKB for getting me on the show. Enjoy our. That's, for, that's what hard work does for you, baby. Hard work, dedication, brief dividends. 
So the hard work paid off at times, you know, when the points were taken off, did you panic a little bit, even though the body shots and stuff were working good for you on the inside? Yeah, time was a little bit out there, obviously. I thought ref, Bar Baron Patterson is the top, top referee, but I thought it was a little bit hard on me tonight, but hey, I'm a... I'm a scrapper, I'm a, I'm a fighter, man. I'm not, I'm not really a boxer, so... Well, congratulations, new British welterweight champion. Well done. Hey, Robin, thanks a lot, pal. Thanks, uh, thanks everyone who come out tonight. I love you. And see you next time, baby. And the new! And the new!